I didn't want anyone to see this. <laughs> I'm picking out the weird bits of Sam that I don't like. <laughs> that seems suspect to me. Where's the cat? Oh, he's right here. Cat gets a treat. Hello homemakers, I'm Melinda and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making party sandwich loaf. All right, party sandwich loaf is from section P, crowd size entertaining, and it is card number 13. And a party sandwich loaf is um, kind of a classic dish in the 60s and 70s for uh, women's luncheons, baby showers. It's a real centerpiece at the table, and it is essentially a cake that's a sandwich. <laughs> So you have three layers that are different sandwich fillings, and then it's frosted in cream cheese and decorated like a cake. Should be fun. Let's get into it. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients because there are a lot of them. And Betty didn't really give me an ingredient list this time. She just kind of rambles them off as she goes through the recipe. So I'm gonna do my best to give you an overview of what we're working with here. The first thing we need is obviously a loaf of unsliced sandwich bread. We also need some softened butter for the bread assembly. Then for the frosting, we need two packages of cream cheese, some light cream, and some yellow food coloring. Then we have three types of filling. The salmon filling uses a can of salmon, uh, some chopped celery, some lemon juice, salt and pepper, mayonnaise, and a hard boiled egg. Then the chicken olive filling uses finely chopped chicken, more celery, green olives, more salt, and more mayonnaise. And then finally, the golden cheese spread uses uh, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, another package of cream cheese, more mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, and onion salt, garlic salt, and celery salt. It's a lot of stuff, but let's get into it. So the first step is to make the three types of filling for the party sandwich loaf. And I'm starting by just um, prepping a few ingredients. I'm gonna chop some celery, we're gonna chop some olives, and we're gonna chop up a hard boiled egg. I was doing a lot of internet research about party sandwich loaves. And I got some like hot tips from other bloggers who have made these for fun in the past. And one like common suggestion was to like make sure that the uh, fillings are kind of as homogeneous as possible. Like you don't want big chunks of things because they'll kind of like fall out and you really need the like stability of every layer as, as stable as possible. I'm so sick of celery. I'm not really an olive person. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this chicken olive <laughs> layer of filling. <laughs> I've kind of gotten better with olives as I got older. Like I hated black olives growing up because that's all I kind of knew, you know, at my parents' house, we always had black olives like on the table at holidays, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving is kind of like a thing to pick at, like an appetizer, and I didn't like them. <laughs> but um, a green olive every now and then is delightful. Okay, yeah, we have um, some <laughs> meat coming off at the shell, so that's not great. <sighs> okay, I got my egg peeled. Um, it looks a little rough, but it's not like we're making deviled eggs or anything. It just is one hard boiled egg. I thought I would get like a teaspoon, tablespoon kind of measurement, but it is hard boiled though. I did get that right, all right. Get out of the way, olives. We need a delineation of ingredients here. All right, let's start mixing these fillings. Okay, I have three bowls for my three fillings. Um, let's just go down the line. Salmon filling. We're mixing one can of salmon drained and flaked, which I have right here. <laughs> Canned fish is just a vibe that I can't really get behind. Half a cup of chopped celery. One and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. 
Salt and pepper, quarter cup of mayonnaise, quarter teaspoon salt. I'm not measuring this. Quarter cup of mayonnaise. I bought a fresh mayo just for this. <laughs> I'm just eyeballing a quarter cup of mayo. That's enough. And then the hard cooked egg. Okay, come on. Let's mix it. <laughs> wow, this, this sounds incredible. <sighs> Salmon filling complete. Now we're on to our chicken olive spread. So we have one and a half cups of finely chopped chicken, which I prepared last night. Quarter cup of celery. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Everyone out of the way. Last time I did a big like heaping tablespoon and it felt like it was maybe too much. So I'm gonna try to restrain myself this time. Is it okay to mix the fork? I think I'm gonna use one fork. It's all going into the same place, which is my stomach, unfortunately. Okay, I guess that's the chicken olive spread. Last one, the golden cheese spread. I tried to find as finely shredded cheese as possible because like it's not going to be cooked at all. Like we're just assembling this and eating it. <laughs> so there's just going to be like shreds of cheese in this layer. Three ounces of cream cheese. Um, this is eight ounces, so I'm just going to do a little less than half. There we go. <laughs> and another quarter cup of mayonnaise. This is probably the weirdest one to me, I'm just realizing. Oh, no, it's not. They're all weird. But this is literally just a bowl of cheese and mayo and cream cheese. Do you see what we're working with here? This is f***ed up. This ain't right. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Let me throw that in. Maybe that's a half teaspoon. Oh! <laughs> One eighth teaspoon of onion salt, garlic salt, and celery salt. I'm skipping onion salt because I don't have anything related to that but I am gonna use garlic powder instead of garlic salt. Just, just a, a little dash. And that's our golden cheese spread. Okay, we have our three fillings. <sighs> All right, next step is to make the frosting. Cream cheese frosting. Two packages of cream cheese, a half cup of light cream, and some food coloring. Why is this such a struggle? Get out, get out. Okay, thank you. Is that so hard? A cream cheese frosting, that's something a sweet cake would have. Carrot cake with cream cheese frosting? Incredible. Cream cheese frosting on a sandwich? No. All right, get in there. Half a cup of the cream. Oh, oh no. Yeah, maybe I should have broken up the chunks first. Why are you so chunky? It's just cream cheese and milk, right? Yeah, I think that's the consistency you want. Okay, I'm gonna do a little yellow food coloring. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't realize that this photo was yellow cream cheese. I just thought it was like a discolored old timey photo. Warm lighting. <laughs> yeah, warm lighting. So the fact that I'm dying at yellow at all is kind of shocking to me. All right, let's cut this beautiful boy open. <laughs> it's so pretty. I don't want to break it. I have to cut up. I think I have to cut. We want an even top. So I'm gonna have to cut off, shave off enough of the top so we have I have an even playing space here. Trim crust from one loaf of unsliced bread and cut lengthwise into four slices. Okay, I'm gonna trim the top and then I'm gonna trim all the other stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Is that even? No! <laughs> okay, that's better. That's a lot better than what I had before, right? Okay. Is this... <laughs> 
Am I doing it? It's not going to be symmetrical. I'm going to tell you right now, symmetry is not required. I think that kind of a set resembles a cube of bread. <laughs> OK. Cut lengthwise into four slices. <laughs> the cat, after salmon treat, is like losing his mind. <laughs> Should I have bought a second loaf in case I mess this up? Probably. <laughs> okay. Are they even? No. <laughs> is it going to be fine? Yes. The top one is just really big. <laughs> Spread three slices with softened butter. <sighs> okay, so the Betty tip for this is that you're buttering the bread so that the filling doesn't absorb too much into the bread. It's kind of creating a barrier so that the filling stays separate. Okay, so I'm putting my bottom slice on my serving plate. And let's move this to the side here. And we're gonna start with the salmon filling. Now the salmon filling is the most liquidy of the three fillings, and I think I put too much mayo in it, <laughs> but we're just gonna go for it. It's good that my best buttered slice has my liquidiest filling. Second is the chicken olive spread. <laughs> we're gonna put another layer on. Wait, let's go this way. Where did you come from? Did I put these in the right order back? This feels like it should go over here. <gasps> I buttered it upside down. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Even though I tried so hard to cut stuff small, it's still too chunky. <laughs> I'll clean up the <laughs> extras later. Okay. Final layer is the cheese. <laughs> Look at this cheese spread. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this cheese spread does taste kind of good, or smell kind of good, aka I want to taste it right now. Something about it, the Worcestershire. <sighs> Top with unbuttered slice, aka the biggest slice. <laughs> This is a tall ass sandwich loaf. We, ha we, have to, we have to frost it. Okay, so the final step, well, not final, final, but the next step is to frost it. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge for a couple hours. So I have my cream cheese frosting that I've dyed yellow. <laughs> and I hope I have enough, because it's a lot taller than we thought it would be. So we'll just see how it goes. Could always redistribute if needed. There's like bits of celery in the frosting because it's like coming out. Okay, we're something's happening. This looks good. That front, I'm making something happen, right? Okay, I think I've covered most of the bread. Not well, mind you. I'm gonna call this frosted. I frosted a cake sandwich. It's not the least structurally sound thing I've ever made. We're gonna put it in the fridge for two hours and then we're gonna decorate and slice it. Okay, so it's time to make a little decoration for our sandwich loaf. Um, from what I can deduce here, I'm trying to copy it exactly. We have a little bed of lettuce as grass and then we have some scallions as stems and some like carrot grape flowers. Okay, that looks pretty cute, right? That looks like the photo. I did it. I made it. <laughs> Let's uh, get this cleaned up and slice it open. <laughs> I'm nervous. What if I ruin it? Wow. 
Okay, we got a slice off. Look at that cross section. That's three filling. Okay, let's taste this thing. <laughs> My thing is you can't get a bite that has all three layers in it. So I think some layers are gonna be better than others. Do I save the cheese layer for last? Cause I know it's the best, probably. I'm gonna start with the salmon layer. Okay, salmon just tastes like tuna. Okay, I literally have no, there's no difference. Okay, what about the chicken layer? Also, all this cream cheese on the outside, incredible. It's like I'm having a bagel. Tastes like chicken. I don't think I had an olive in that bite. And there's a lot of bread to filling ratio. So I'm getting a bite that's mostly bread with like a little something, just like bread with a hint of chicken. <laughs> that bite was mostly cream cheese frosting, but the cheese layer is so good. The Worcestershire is like so good in that cheese. It is weird to see like chunks of shredded cheese, but okay, this isn't bad. It's very cream cheesy, but <laughs> I'm eating it. It's just cream cheese <laughs> on the plate. <laughs> this is edible. This is much more edible than I thought it would be. I'm very surprised. I'm enjoying this cream cheese sandwich. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut another slice just to see what a non-butt slice, how it cuts, how it eats. <laughs> I just feel like I need more information. So the, um, the, the snan end piece, it is a little, it's nice to have like a thinner cut of it. I think we're gonna get less cream cheese. I'm noticing that the chicken salad layer is just kind of dry and that's why it's not as cohesive as the salmon and the cheese. Um, let me take a couple bites of this just so I get the full effect of like a real slice. Wow, I ate a lot more of that than I thought it would. <laughs> it's not bad. Is it weird? Absolutely. <laughs> but it's not bad. All right, party sandwich loaf, we did it. Uh, I was really surprised, I did not want to eat this. I was really nervous to put a bite in my mouth and then I took a bunch of bites, so I consider that a win in my book. Um, all the three of the fillings I thought were really good on their own. It's just like a weird concept to be eating a sandwich deconstructed like that in like thin strips with that much cream cheese. <laughs> it was just so much cream cheese. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. But did I enjoy it? Yes. So I'm gonna give it three out of five red spoons. Okay, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy homemaking.